Rocket. Hello, Jeff here. Uh, so, I'd like to address a problem. That problem is I have not been doing a very good job of opening 90s baseball products on the show. And a few people call this my attention online. Shout out to MJ. Um, I, so I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to diversify. Um, I definitely have some windows of uh, years that I really like and that I gravitate towards, but I want to give you guys some variety. So today, I'm going to be opening up 1990 Leaf Baseball. This is the home of the Frank Thomas rookie, the Big Hurt. Um, it's also a Sammy Sosa rookie. Um, uh, I don't remember Sammy Sosa having a nickname. Anyways, um, there's also a King Griffey Jr. Second, second year card. And yeah, so uh, here we go. We're opening up 90s baseball cards uh, for you guys. Let's see what we got. This is actually a pretty cool uh, wrapper. I remember in 1990, I was just a, a young lad. I remember these came out and they were really expensive. Uh, these and then the the 89 upper deck they were they were different different price different pricing level from what I've been used to but they were these kind of high-end premium cards so it kind of ushered in that era of these really high quality uh, baseball and basketball and football and hockey uh, but yeah so these are these are cool all right here we go they also have the Donruss puzzle piece which I can appreciate Whoa, first pack, Sammy Sosa rookie. Get out of town, the man without a nickname that I can remember. Nice, that's a good looking card. Heck yeah. Maybe I should be opening up more 90s baseball products. The wrapper looks like a gift wrap, pretty crazy. All right, Donnie Baseball. Well, my wife's favorite player, Kirby Puckett. Pull the Kirby Puckett, baby. She doesn't care. Greg Vaughn. Greg Vaughn was a big deal. Was this his? No, it's not a rookie, but was it? He may have been 89. I digress. Roberto Alomar. This rookie was an 88, but that's still a pretty nice card. Tony Gwynn. Oh. The Wizard, Ozzie Smith. Whoa, George Brett, my all-time fave. Ramon Martinez, I want to say he was 89. Okay, not too, doing too bad. Pulling the Sosa in the first pack. Several other Hall of Famers.
Mitch Williams, wild thing. That guy had a streak where he was crazy popular. It may have been because of Major League. You guys ever seen Major League? Oh yeah. Charlie Sheen's character, wild thing. I can't remember the connection between he and Mitch Williams, other than Mitch Williams also being nicknamed Wild Thing, but yeah, great movie. Canseco. Robin Yount. Bo Jackson, very nice. All right, we had been opening up a bunch of products that had four cards per pack, so it's nice to have a pack that has 15 cards in it. You feel like you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. Sorry, Wade Boggs, I should definitely at least give Wade a shout out. Nolan Ryan. All right. So far, this is a pretty fun product. Ventura. I'm gonna put him right next to Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Seems like a fun pair. Mike Greenwell, man, as a little kid, I loved Mike Greenwell. Not even sure why, but I, I was like, a, the Red Sox were my second favorite team. Living in Kansas made no sense, but I loved Mike Greenwell. Cal Ripken Jr., very nice, man. This is a pretty good run here. And Will Clark, Will the Thrill. Two more packs left. Ricky Henderson, followed by Tony Gwynn. Another Ozzy Smith. My all-time faves here. All right, last pack. Fred McGriff, Crime Dog. Seiko. Robin Yount. Bo Jackson. And that's all she wrote. Well, no Frank Thomas rookies, but that's okay. That was a good run. Hit a Sammy Sosa rookie in the first pack. That's pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed 90s. I'm going to have to do more of those. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode. Make sure to subscribe to Pack Geek on YouTube. Also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks. Pack Geek.